Previously on The Pantsless Detective. Yes, sir, Mr. Bruno. The Pantsless Detective. In color. In a Smitty's Ransom. Act 5. Lair upon Lair. It was time for the meet. McAdams was staking out the office, intending to follow me to the lair and nab us all at once, the lazy bastard. Temperance and I had other plans. Plans to leave McAdams and his minions confused and confounded. Like a dog without a bone. Like a fish on a bicycle. Like a vegan with meat sweats. Go check it out. We beat McAdams to the punch like a teen with the booze at junior prom. Are you sure this is the right place? No one's on guard. Trust me, Lemon Drop, this is the right lair. On three, ready? Hey, wait a minute. Three! Meanwhile, back at the stakeout, McAdams' patience was wearing thin, as was our airtight ruse. Like orphans at the last rusty playground in town, our better halves swinging days were over. Chanceless. Come on, get back over here. Just leave them. Just leave them. Come on, let's go. Smitty, any other thugs? No, it's just us. We're low profile on this one. All right, Temperance. Cut our long-lost intern loose. machine for Mr. Bruno's lair. I'm glued to a phone, and Pantsless and Smitty are getting away. Pantsless? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Phipps. Nice work, Smitty. Asshole. Thanks. Now remember, we want to wrap this up in a nice, tidy bow. With some raffia, or deluxe satin. Maybe with a nice curling rib. You, come with me. You, cover the rear. A little help here, please? McAdams is right behind us and he'll be here any minute. Not likely, sugar lumps. Isn't that right, dollface? Make it city police! Freeze! Who ye supposed to be? <laughs> this is an over. I get that you sent McAdams to the wrong address, but I don't understand how you knew the right address from the wrong address. It was the dollface, dollface. I cut that out and pretended to glue it to the message, but secretly used no glue. I figured it would come loose, along with the numbers. And I noticed after you finished reconstructing the note, there was no place on that note for that doll face. I knew that Smitty would not include it unless it was necessary. Then I noticed the words doll face in the message. And when I held the doll face against the message just right, Smitty's code appeared. 1B43 or 1043. Dollface also conveniently has a letter-based ordinal code baked into it that could be used as a plausible red herring. Wait, what? D is the fourth letter, O is zero, L's look like ones, leaving three to be the last number. I needed you to believe that that was the correct address, so that when McAdams found the note, he'd believe it too. So you made me the dupe. Only to dupe the dope. Better to be the dupe than the dope. Okay, but... How did you also know that the thug's lair would be so lightly guarded? Again, the doll face. I knew Dick would case the joint just to be sure, and... The longshoreman's hat on the doll face identified the thug, along with the shopping bag. And he was the only one who came or went. Well, that explains that, but we still don't know what Bruno wanted. Though they sure think we do. What could it be?
the pantsless detective will return in season three. Framed by the past. Still a dick. Still pantsless.